Hi, this is Brother Teacher. I just want to touch base on a subject that um, I think needs to be spoken on. And the subject is women having dignity concerning themselves just in general. And I'm speaking primarily to black women uh, because being a so-called African-American or black person myself, I don't necessarily subscribe to those terms, but uh, be that as it may, let me continue. Um, first of all, let me preface this message by saying I'm not referring to all black women. I'm referring to a startling a vast majority of black women, and I have lived to see at least half a century. And I know that my eyes haven't deceived me because I've grown up with and worked with and have had worked for me several black women, many, many black women. And I have been in that environment for most of my life. So now I begin. There was a time when I was coming up as a child there were certain standards that black women had, or women in general. And one of those standards was they were always a motherly figure to children, for the most part. I'm not talking about exceptions, but for the most part. For example, when I was at home, and I was raised my brother and I by a single mother, but my mother would hug us before we went to school. She'd open the door, she'd watch us walk down the street when we were able to go to school on our own, that is. Or she would walk us to the corner because school was not that far away and she'd see us uh, until she couldn't see us anymore. She'd watch us until she couldn't see us and crossing the major street light. And then she knew uh, we were on our way to school, very close. And even when it was time for school to be out, my mother would walk to the corner until she had seen us coming straight home because that's how we were taught come directly home so that was a good example of how a mother should be now i could say this about a father as well but right now i'm speaking concerning the mother but this is what my mother did for my brother and i and when my mother worked uh and my brother and i would get home from school we would have a meal prepared for us uh lunch was made uh, and then when it was dinner time, she would call us to dinner that we would say the, the grace and then we would eat. This is what we did as children. And my mother was that example to us that this is how you carry on in your home as a parent, a mother that is. And when we got out of line, after she had already told us what the rules were in the home, uh, she told us what the consequences is could be if we did not follow the rules. Of course, punishments were inclusive, but that old butt whipping was usually on the top of the list as far as punishments. But another thing that we learned about a woman as a child and then a teenager and then a young man, speaking about myself, is that women carried themselves a certain way in public and at home. For example, my mother didn't gallivant through the house naked or half naked. We're two young men, young boys growing up in that home. My mother had respect enough for herself and for us not to do that. When she had to take a bath or a shower, it was all discreet. When she went into her bedroom, she'd shut her door and she put her clothes on. She never exposed herself openly to my brother and I. That's not so today. That happens more so than not today. For some reason, black women think that because I'm your mother, you've seen me since you were a baby naked. So there's nothing wrong with you seeing me naked now. And they walk through the house no bra on, breast out, or they jump out of the shower or the bath, walk through the house naked, and it's just okay. They don't know how to put a governor on it. They don't know how to say, well, my son or my children are getting old enough now, and they're starting to learn about the human body and about sex and things like that, so I need to put some clothes on. A lot of them don't see it that way. They think it's okay. 
but it is not you are not setting a good example for your children at all and the other thing when you're out in the street speaking of the black mother again there was a time when you cared enough about yourself that you didn't show your cleavage your breast there are women almost naked nowadays this is 2015 young women middle-aged black women and even older women walking around with their breasts almost popping out of their tops if you ask me what the reason is it's probably several number one is they were trained or they were raised with another mother that didn't know any better another reason is they think it's a sex magnet it attracts men but you're not going to attract any decent men you're going to attract men that are thinking the same thing that you're thinking that's really short of prostitution in a sense you are saying come to me these are my spoils these are the things that I can give you what man doesn't know what your body looks like from an anatomical standpoint we know you have breasts and a vagina and a behind sometimes people's or women's breasts are more pronounced uh, and their behinds more than other women's but they've allowed Hollywood they've allowed rap videos and all these advertisements that they see on television to be that calling card to be that thing that represents them and their identity but it doesn't it makes you look like a whore plain and simple it makes you look like a whore it was not that way when I was coming up now do I hold the exact and absolute standards for how things should be based on how I grew up I sort of kind of do but it's not just myself you see the further you get back in history the closer you find how things should really be today and the further you get away from history you see how chaotic things really become have some dignity women there was a time when a woman's slip would be hanging out of her dress at the bottom I remember this as a young man coming up and you tap that woman on the, sh on the shoulder and you say excuse me ma'am your slip is hanging she said oh thank you and she pulled her slip back up or her bra strap was hanging out and you say excuse me ma'am your, your strap is hanging out she said oh thank you and she covered up nowadays that's not so you have black women walking around with hip hugger jeans on and excuse my expression their ass crack showing and they have no shame whatsoever it's okay it's normal they watch too much TV too many videos too many movies they don't care anything about their self-respect they have none they have no dignity and that is a shame you have women walking around with no bras on their breasts drooping inside of a, uh, what they call uh, the uh, tank tops or wife beaters come on now have some respect for yourself now there are going to be those that won't like this video and what I'm saying there will potentially be those who will attack me and the subject matter because they feel like well we're in America we do whatever we want to do that's what our freedoms are all about whoever you are that makes that statement you have missed the point you have missed the boat whatever you put into life is what you're gonna get out now would you dress half naked going to every place that you would go to for example church court shopping restaurant your children's graduation you'd be surprised at how many people do that anyway how many women do that black women they do that it's a shame I've seen it all I don't want to see your panties I don't want to see your thongs when I walk down the street I don't want to see your breast leave something to the imagination just on that particular note and stop cursing your children out in public stop screaming at your boyfriend or your baby's daddy in public and looking at the people who are looking at you as if they have a problem 
I've seen so many black women do this, young black women especially. What you looking at? This is what they say to the bystanders. I'm looking at a person who's irrational, who has no home training and no education. That's what I'm looking at. Get some education about yourself. And education is not necessarily going to uh, some academia uh, or some college or some school per se. Education is finding out how things should really be. How is life really supposed to be? The type of example that you're really supposed to be setting for your children. Oftentimes we get frustrated, and I'm talking about the black woman. You get frustrated because that's all you have to offer your children. Because it was all that you were offered. This is Brother Teacher. I always welcome your comments. Uh, please keep it clean, and I'll get right back with you in the next video. So long.